What's up guys? After traveling through Central America for three weeks now, I'm halfway across my journey and today I'm gonna be setting off from here, El Turco in El Salvador. I'm gonna cross into Honduras and by midnight I'll cross the borders into Leon in Nicaragua. After setting off for my Central America journey, Nicaragua was amongst the countries I couldn't wait to reach. It's the largest country in the region and an all-around amazing destination no matter what you're looking for. Despite the sanctions against it and its reputation as a more or less dangerous country and its recent political unrest, Nicaragua accepts visitors and so it was one of the most important points of my journey as I plan to spend more than a week there to discover just a tiny bit of what it has to offer. And buenos dias from Leon, Nicaragua. We just arrived here yesterday night. It's been a long, long ride from El Tunco, El Salvador. And now I'm here in my 31st country and I can't wait to explore Nicaragua and see what this is all about. Leon, meaning Lion, hence the symbol of the city, is a unique colonial town. It was here that the Sandinista Revolution started and you can feel its significance right in the central square. Although quite hot, Leon is colorful with more than a few places to visit, many different things to try and a cool place to explore for a couple of days. Day. Just go to one of their, uh, their stalls as they walk by on the street and you enjoy it, it's absolutely wonderful. It's the best thing here because the heat is unbearable. Furthermore, I found Leon to be quite safe, which gave me a much needed change after the previous week I spent in Honduras and El Salvador, two notoriously dangerous countries. And after my past week in uh, Honduras and El Salvador, which is a big no-no to walk outside at night, here it's like nine o'clock, we had dinner and we're walking here in the main square here in Leon, Nicaragua and it actually feels pretty safe. After that, my next stop was of course Granada, but not the one in Spain, as the one here in Nicaragua is equally cool and interesting to visit. Alright, good morning guys, it's another morning here in Leon. we're going for a little walk downtown to enjoy the city and in a little while we'll be taking uh, ticket buses to go to Granada, another awesome city here to explore in Nicaragua. And after a long ride to Managua, and to Managua here, we made it to Granada, an amazing colonial town right on the coast of the lake. After shopping at its bustling colorful streets, a visit to the pier at the source of Lake Nicaragua is a must. If you have a few more days to spend here, you can go hiking on Volcano Masaya, visit the tiny sets of islands nearby in the lake to enjoy the nature, or visit the traditional village of Masaya. After leaving Granada, I wasn't finished with Lake Nicaragua by any means. So I went to Rivas and from there I took the ferry to Ometepe Island, which is located right in the middle of the lake. So right now we are experiencing one of the best things Ometepe has to offer, this magical sunset. In the end this makes you think that all of that was worth it. And after all that traveling, nothing goes easy. See you tomorrow, hopefully we'll get to hike Volcano Madera. Just like Leon and Granada, Ometepe has many places to visit, but by far the best are hiking on the two volcanoes that actually form the island itself. And that's nearly all about it, as tomorrow I will be crossing the borders into Costa Rica, my next country here in the region. In the end, I can't say Nicaragua is the safest or the most touristic country here. But despite its political system and the problem it's facing, it's an amazing destination with so many experiences to offer. But remember that I only visited just four places here and I barely scratched the surface. But I'll definitely be back someday here for more.